What's up, bro? Uh, today we're creating this 1819 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey Retail Tin. So, uh, the box topper uh, specific uh, to this retail tin is this oversized uh, Series 1 card of uh, Brandon Gallagher of Montreal Canadiens. So, uh, a nice looking card uh, to me, like, uh, looks good if you put it on your bookshelf, but somehow they don't, I uh, don't gain uh, much popularity. And uh, we start uh, with uh, Ryan Ellis. So, uh, this year is actually a pretty exceptional year, uh, because uh, it's one of the rare years where Series 2 might actually have a better... Uh, better cards, um, better young guns than uh, Series 1 because uh, we have like Carter Hart, uh, Casey Middlestand and uh, uh, Andres Vechnikov. And uh, here I think uh, that's a pretty rare card. It's uh, a UD Canvas veteran card. Of course, Brian Trottier is not the most uh, followed uh, player in the hobby, but uh, I think those are somehow like short printed. Uh, Louis Erickson and uh, Tyler Toffoli. Uh, Sid the Kid. Like a guy who looks serious. Like a, um, Mark Giordano. It's the long time in a, uh, the first time in a very long, long, long time when like uh, flames are relevant. But I, I don't think it's uh, because of. Uh, I like Flames actually uh, playing uh, good. It's more mostly because like the Western Conference is absolute shit now. Oh, uh, Rocky comment, uh, uh, Rook comments of uh, Miro Heiskanen and of uh, Hifkin Finland and uh, Dallas Stars. Uh, nice looking card. Uh, and, uh, the parallels of uh, Ro Rocky comments uh, sell pretty well, but I think. Uh, uh, I think uh, you can't uh, pull this numbered parallels from uh, the retail. Uh, Philip Grubauer. Actually, I think it was a mistake from Colorado to sign uh, Philip Grubauer uh, this off season because they also signed Pavel Franchos of uh, KHL, who is a much, a much get a better goalkeeper. Uh, Michael Grabner and a checklist of uh, uh, John Tavares. Actually, John Tavares is coming uh, this coming week uh, uh, back to Long Island uh, for the first time and actually plan to attend this game. Should be good. Uh, should be uh, uh, interesting how the crowd welcomes him. Uh, Patrick Line. Uh, Patrick Line has been uh, in decline recently because of uh, he's not scoring much. But uh, actually, like I watched some games by Winnipeg and uh, he's much more useful player. Uh, than before when uh, he was uh, uh, when he was scoring a lot but not doing much else. Now he's uh, really energetic, goes to the goal, tries to uh, to push as a defenseman. Uh, before that, he was like uh, Ovechkin in his early year years, just uh, living out uh, out of his shirt. But now, although he's not scoring, I feel like uh, mm, uh, he's uh, growing as a. As a player, uh, Jake Wirtanen. and uh, you can see like uh, that tennis in Vancouver. Vancouver is complete shit. It's like uh, com uh, like uh, a lot of empty seats. Oh, and uh, the first uh, young gun is uh, uh, Brett Sani. Like uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, like um, is like very illustrative. I went to several Devils games this year, and this is the first time I hear about Brett Sani. Like what are his? Uh, uh, what are his uh, stars? NCAA, NCAA, Mary Mack. Yeah. Four years in college. Yeah, five nine. Yeah, <laughs> five nine. Like, like a dwarf. Yeah. So it's, it's not a young gun, a good young gun to start the, uh, to start this. Uh, to start the series two breaks. Mm, Brandon Smith. To Karask. 
and uh, Aratka Gudas of uh, Flyers. Yeah, Flyers failed the beginning of the season, but uh, speeding up now. And uh, but I don't think they like they have uh, something like uh, seven points uh, to playoffs. So I don't think they will make it. Although they crashed pants in the stadium series. Uh, canvas checklist: uh, Ovechkin and uh, Tarasenko. It's actually pretty rare to Russian players on the uh, on the checklist. Uh, Jonathan Bernier, a long time uh, Toronto Maple Leaf. Marcus Kruger. Uh, what I'm really amazed is the, that uh, so Ch- Chicago was the worst team in the league like uh, maybe like two months ago, but after they changed the head coach, they're like fighting, fighting for the playoffs. Uh, but uh, again, I think uh, the big reason for that is the the whole Western Conference sucks like uh, like deeply. So so it's not that uh, exceptional to. Uh, to to shine there, uh, gave him Barithir, who is gave him uh, Yeah, HL Texas, uh, thirty-two. Yeah, it's uh, actually that's not bad. Like uh, thirty-two two points for a defenseman in HL might be might be a reasonable player, but I just haven't uh, haven't heard about him at all. Uh, PK Saban, uh, yeah, his uh, his shirt is crazy. I saw him in uh, actually th- this year. Both Rangers and Islanders had a s- season opener against uh, Predators, so uh, I I saw them two times, and both time uh, uh, Saban was their best defenseman. Uh, Corey Schneider on a sharp sharp decline, like uh, allows. Uh, Allows goals in volume, like they say. I think uh, after the after the All Star break, he had like a one good week, but like uh, but last season and uh, the beginning of the season, God, like he's like uh, you, you know, if you plant a tree like uh, by your go, it would be better than uh, than Corey Schneider, mm, Adam Larson. Uh, yeah, it's uh, one of these like super smart trades uh, by uh, Edmonton uh, management. So uh, Adam Larson, uh, number four overall pick, was traded uh, for Adam uh, for Taylor Ho, who was number first overall pick, like during the the same fucking draft. And uh, so after that, Taylor Ho is like an MVP. And uh, where is Adam Larson? I haven't heard much uh, uh, about him. I think he's like. Uh, the third pairing uh, defenseman in uh, in Edmonton, like a Edmonton, they're just killing uh, killing players, uh, completely stop like their development. Uh, Jimmy Vesey, Cam Ward. I was a little bit surprised he left Carolina. Oh, Mark. Uh, so yeah, a very nice thing about uh, this. Uh, uh, series two. Uh, Whatever I think about the series two is that this uh, that they uh, include the rooks from uh, update rooks from OPG and Jordan Caru is uh, actually a very um, a very promising rook. I think he uh, he leads uh, Chicago Wolves uh, like or oh, is it San Antonio? Yes, San Antonio. Uh, I think uh, he leads San Antonio in uh, both uh, scoring and uh, points. Although there are some. Uh, some like uh, promising p- uh, players in San Antonio as well, like uh, uh, Klim Kostin, I think. Uh, but um, yeah, like uh, I would expect something from Karu. Actually, I would prefer like a young gun of uh, Karu. Uh, Ryan Spooner, a pretty relevant player, but I think he was traded to Vancouver. Not sure about that, but uh, because we're right by the deadline, a lot of a lot of tra- trades and. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I'm not following them uh, closely. Yeah, Chris Kreider uh, is having a good season uh, despite uh, uh, despite uh, Rangers having a 
uh, pretty poor season overall. I'm a little bit surprised that like uh, Rangers brought this uh, college coach uh, David Quinn to improve the youngsters, but instead all these like youngsters like uh, Buchnevich, Lias Anderson, uh, Philip Hedio, they're failing this season, while like the veteran players like uh, Kreider, Zibanejad, Jad Zuccarello, they're shining. Uh, so it wasn't a very good idea like to. I think uh, to be, uh, to bring David Quinn and uh, Christopher uh, Christopher Ann. Yeah, who is the guy? Uh, Tyson Just, uh, Jason Zucker, uh, Brian Mer Merchant, one of the dirtiest and most annoying player players in the league. Uh, David Krejci. Uh, Gabriel Anderskirk. Uh Yeah, like uh, when they played together with Mankinen and Rantanen, that was a deadly combination. But once they were split, yeah, the, yeah, I think uh, they will go away downhill. Dan Vladar, yeah, another. Yeah, but at least he's like a uh, big, like six, uh, uh, six point five. So. Uh, the size of Bogoli, so at least he can like uh, use his size for his advantage. Uh, but like, uh, yeah, uh, twelve games in during two AHL seasons. I think what it means is that he's mostly an ECHL. Like, but it's like lame to put like a young gun like this. Like, yeah. uh, Justin Falk, mm, Franz Nielsen, uh, Ryan Miller. Mike Riley, Connor Sheary, uh, Brand Richardson, uh, Thomas Tatar, a long time Red Wing, and uh, yeah, Mikhail Vorobiev of uh, Flyers. A uh, very talented and a smart player, but I think uh, he should have developed in KHL slightly longer instead of uh, going like directly to AHL because. Uh, Mm, this AHL playing style is uh, very straightforward for a more intellectual player, a uh, player like him. Uh, Paul Stasny uh, had a good end of the season last year in uh, Winnipeg, but decided to st to sign with Vegas in the off season. And uh, Teva Teravainen, who might or might not make the playoffs like uh, but i love this um, carolina goal celebrations uh, this season if you haven't seen them uh, you can check them uh, on youtube so uh, overall a pretty uh, lame teen uh, i think uh, the best uh, the best uh, thing uh, is uh, this like uh, stylishly uh, elegant uh, teen itself uh, but uh, in terms of cards uh, probably this Brian Tottier canvas is uh, is uh, the best uh, the best card uh, also this Jordan Cairo if it would be like uh, an um, regular young gun I would be excited but with OPG like uh, Yeah, like, so I got this blaster for uh, 25, 25 bucks shipped on uh, eBay, so it's slightly lower than the Thajessa retail price of $30, but yeah, it's... Unfortunately, this time, this is like a money pretty much uh, down the drain. <laughs>